with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, fall is certainly in the air, and this is unseasonably cool for a September temperature map. I mean, you look at these numbers out here, not so much for the tri-state, while it is cool in the 60s, but boy, look at these 40s from Chicago over towards Peoria, Des Moines, even St. Louis down to 53 tonight. This is important to us because this is a reinforcing cool front, and this is what will come through here overnight tonight, and that's the reason why tomorrow highs will not climb out of the 60s tomorrow afternoon. It will be a brisk and cool mid-September afternoon. Afternoon. Tonight we've got a light easterly wind, but if you look out towards the west here, this is the cold front that's easing its way towards Indiana tonight and will kick the winds up again tomorrow and will make it feel extra cool for us. So here's the current weather map. Cold front down along the Gulf Coast states tonight with the showers and storms. Meanwhile, around here we've got cool east and northeasterly winds blowing into the area tonight. Here's a live look from high atop Mount Auburn tonight as we look at Carew Tower all lit up outside. Current temperature 62 at the airport. We've got ourselves an east wind right now at around 5. Let's talk about the home opener between the Bengals and the Falcons. On Sunday, the weather looks great for football as it did tonight. It will look just as nice on Sunday, except for a little more sunshine and a little bit warmer out there. So if you're tailgating, though, it will be cool. Remember, it's an early afternoon game. So for tailgaters, if you're heading out, let's say 10 ish, 11 o'clock there, temperatures will be in the upper 50s to right around 60, and then perfect for the kickoff at 1 o'clock. Fourth quarter still looking nice, too, with plenty of sunshine. A little cool. Though in the low 70s. Current temperatures range from about 60 in Connorsville to 60 in Springboro, Hamilton, Mason, Harrison, Dillsboro, Versailles. 60 seems to be the lucky number tonight. Walton, Warsaw, Owington. And you expect temperatures to be fairly uniform like this underneath stubborn cloud cover like we had today. Here's a look at Futurecast, pretty much keeping the clouds in place tonight. And there will be a window here, and it will be from about 3 to about 7 in the morning, when there could be a few spotty showers across the area. Now, anything that falls is really going to be fairly light and really won't have a significant impact on the area overall. But I can't rule out a few raindrops overnight tonight and before the sun comes up tomorrow morning. Then we'll get off to a gloomy start tomorrow. It will be brisk in the morning with temperatures in the 50s. A fairly stiff northerly breeze out there and cooler air filtering in. And it will probably take us, I think this is a little optimistic here, but it will probably take us till about lunchtime to get rid of the cloud cover tomorrow. And then we'll deal with some cool afternoon sun and it's smooth sailing for the rest of the weekend around here. So, really, here's a look at your forecast for the remainder of tonight. Expect cloudy skies, maybe a shower or two before daybreak, 55 the overnight low. And then for tomorrow, expect some morning clouds with afternoon sunshine. It'll be brisk again with that north wind at 8 to 12. It will only be in the 60s, so you'll certainly need a jacket or sweater tomorrow night. Overnight lows dipping down into the 40s. 71 on Sunday. The next chance for rain will get in here Monday night, and then it looks very fall like for most of next week. Highs right around 70 and those nights cool in the upper 40s to around 50. All right, Kev.